And I must say that I'm quite happy how far we've come with um, the training of students and produce on graduates in the area of GIS and remote sensing. You're welcome to remote sensing and GIS application lab uh, at the Department of Geography and Resource Development University of Ghana. The remote sensing and GIS application laboratory was set up back in 1989 as a teaching and research laboratory. The laboratory over the years has undergone some changes with our mandate extended. So we provide teaching in GIS and remote sensing and in addition we do research. We also do extension services and do consulting. Now the remote sensing and GIS application laboratory was set up as university-wide facility to support the teaching research innovation in remote sensing and GIS applications. Currently, the remote sensing and GIS application laboratory lab runs two key programs. We have our short courses in GIS fundamentals, remote sensing fundamentals, intermediate GIS and remote sensing, and then advanced GIS and remote sensing. In addition, we also have a master's program in Geoinformation Science, which is MSc Geoinformation Science. The program was introduced in 2016 with 34 students. Currently, we've been admitting an average of 65 students per year. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is um, Emmanuel Yabua. Um, I'm an EVM and commercial performance um, analyst at Vodafone Ghana. I'm Roger Michael Kayumba. Um, I'm a geospatial engineer by profession. And I'm um, with Deloitte and Touche as a geospatial modeling specialist. So before I joined the program, uh, my expectation was that um, I gained more skills in um, the area of GIS programming, the area of programming languages such as Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, among the likes. Prior to joining the program, I was into mainly GIS and IT services. My expectations was to actually build a lot on the previous skill that I had gathered in my uh, previous engagements uh, in my professional life. So. A lot of what I was doing was mainly in uh, building uh, web applications, mobile applications for data collection, very basic GIS stuff. But I realized a lot of skills were needed to really advance in the current terrain we find ourselves in. And so my expectations were to really gather insights on data science and, and other forms of geospatial analytics which will support the kind of work I do. If you come to our program, is structured in a way such that in the first, it's actually a one-year program which is two semesters and it's run as a modular sandwich program so we run the programs during the uh, long vacation where the regular school is not in session my name is professor george Osu. i'm the dean of the school of social sciences and a former head of the Department of Geography and Resource Development. This was under my tenure as the head of the department that um, we set up the MSc program in GIS and we also had the opportunity of getting a grant to establish a decent lab to aid in the training of uh, GIS uh, and remote sensing. Uh, my expectation was that um, I gained more skills in um, the area of GIS programming, the area of programming languages such as Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, among the likes. And my expectation was met because um, I was able to gain more understanding and an in-depth analysis of most of the programming languages which I employ in my industry now. Joining the program, I realized uh, there was a lot more I could do with the existing skills I already had. And so, um, so far, I can say that uh, my expectations have really been met, um, and there's a lot more we are even yet to even explore, even in the kind of uh, projects we've even been engaged on. I must say that uh, since I became 
the dean of the School of Social Sciences of Continuum to see GIS as um, basically the future of the department and we are doing all we can to support uh, the continued training of students in GIS. Uh, we are supporting the department in many ways including assisting the department to be able to recruit additional qualified um, faculty members in the area of uh, the specialty in GIS and more sensing to aid in the training and teaching of GIS. In addition, we are encouraging the department that after um, a few years of uh, uh, training students in, in, in MSC GIS, uh, we are encouraging the department to move on with the establishment of a, of a PhD program in GIS. As of now, we are also open to do more with industry. So we are looking for more collaborations and we are also looking for financial support. Annually, we organize extension program through our annual GIS Day program. So what we do over there is that we do exhibition of works we have done and we also uh, invite organizations, companies, and institutions to visit our lab and visit our website to look at what we are doing. And if they are interested in collaborating, then we work with them. So I also invite all of you to visit our website. And our website is the rsgislab.ug.edu.gh, where you can look at what we do here, our staff, and our research and our applications that we have developed that are actually making the difference in the lives of the ordinary people. This is Remote Sensing and GIS Application Laboratory of the Department of Geography and Resource Development, University of Ghana. Thank you.